another dupe video. So we're gonna head over to Hobby Lobby. I'm gonna show you all the decor items that catch my eye. And I'm also gonna be showing you some high-end look for less decor pieces as I see them as well. And I'm gonna be comparing them to the real the designer items. So you guys can really get a feel for the price difference and the amount of money that you can save. So hopefully I find some decor items that I like. And if I do, I will come back here, give you guys a haul and show you how I styled it in my home and different ways that you can style in your home as well. So it should be a really fun video and let's get into it. Here we are at Hobbs, and as always, Hobby Lobby is always on sale. All spring decor is 40% off, and this week, the table decor is 50% off. Right when I walked in, this wooden arch picture frame is the first thing that caught my eye. I love using round edges like this to soften up my space, and I especially love the light natural wood color on this frame. Next, I found this black rounded square table lamp, and this reminds me of a smaller version of the Form Studies lamp from West Elm that's $200. And this one is a fraction of that price when it's on sale at $40. I love the shape of these frosted amber glass vases. It looks handmade and imperfect, and it's perfect to add some more balance to your decor styling. They had multiple different sizes to choose from, and I think these would look great paired together on some shelves. The next high-end look for less I found is this dark brown wooden dough bowl. This was only $25 here at Hobbs, and you can find ones online that look almost the same as this for triple that. This is such a versatile option when you're styling because it can be used in many different places and in multiple different ways too. And then I spotted this gorgeous distressed stone looking lamp and I absolutely love the pattern on this guy. It definitely looks like it could be a designer piece because it has the same rustic texture and color as this high end table lamp, except this one is literally $700 less. I also came across this round wooden mirror and oh my gosh, I was so excited when I found this because it has the same rounded wood edge as this designer one from Amber Interiors. This one is only $72 here and on high-end sites, they can sell for more than 500. This is probably my favorite designer dupe of the day because it looks the exact same without the heavy price tag. I found these gorgeous twisted candlesticks for only 99 cents each here. I love the unique shape of these to help add some more textiles to your home. They also had a ton of different sizes and colors and you can compare these to the rope taper candlesticks at Amber Interiors. I found multiple designer lookalike lamps during this Hobby Lobby trip, but this one is the one that I'm most excited about. About. This lamp has the same base shade and even has the same woven pattern to it as the Abbott table lamp from Serena and Lily. I love the natural feel that wicker can give when you incorporate it into your home. And using organic materials like this in your decor is a great but subtle way to ground your space. I spotted these round wooden balls and I immediately thought of these decorative wood balls from Pottery Barn. This guy at Hobbs is actually a few different candle holders strung together. You could use these for candles or you could just stick these in a bowl to achieve that high-end Pottery Barn look, but for just a snippet of the price. Then I found another Pottery Barn designer dupe, these neutral wood bowls. These guys look almost identical to the round carved bowls, except a few less numbers on the price tag. And look at this antique looking bowl, you guys. I am blown away with how real and aged this looks. True vintage bowls can sell for hundreds of dollars, and this has the same look, but for a lot less. So many different ways you can style this guy, but I personally think it would look stunning in the middle of a large dining table, either with some fruit or decor filler in it. Whenever I see scalloped edging, I always think of Serena and Lily and Coastal Vibes, and they had so many different items here with this shape, and I was just so here for it. I think it's so fun and girly, and especially for the spring and summertime, it feels like a flower, and it, it just feels right. 
I was about to pick up this rug for my kitchen, but I couldn't decide, so I need your opinion. What do you guys think? Do you think it would look good in the middle of my kitchen? I do like how it's jute, so it's easy to hide stains and dirt, but I don't know. I'm still undecided, so definitely let me know your opinion in the comments. And speaking of Serena and Lily, I found a great dupe for the Kokari placemat set. This literally looks almost the exact same, has the same pattern and material on it, has the same fringe, it's gorgeous, and it's only $10. Compared to the set of four, that's $140. I think that's a pretty good deal. I think this can be used throughout all the seasons and you can definitely dress it up or down with your tablescape depending on your style. And another high-end look for less I found were these rustic and antique looking stools. They had a selection of sizes from tiny to large as well as so many different wood stains and shapes. I personally love how you can see the legs through the top of the bench of the one on the right. It makes it seem so much more realistic. You could always DIY these and distress them or stain them more yourself to make them look more rustic if you wanted, but I think for the price, these are definitely worth it. Then I headed over to the vase section. So I found this black handled vase and it reminded me of this one from Amazon, except for it was like two of the digits instead of three. So that's great. I also came across this charcoal planter and this has the same shape and distressing style as the vintage pottery water jar from Burke Decor. That's $275. And this one has a your price tag for $34.99. And this woven planter is so cute and looks like the one from McGee & Co. that normally sells for $114. You could easily just rip this extra fringe off of this guy and get an identical look to this designer one, but for a fraction of the price. We're all done shopping in the store, so now it's time to head back home so I can show you everything that I picked up and different ways you can style it. And we're back. So I didn't get much, but I did pick up a few things that I think will be really useful and that I thought that I needed for my home. Let me show you. So the first thing I picked up is this wooden stool. And this reminds me of the reclaimed wood, antique wooden stools that you can get at antique stores or that have just been actually sitting out and aging for a hundred years. Of course, it's kind of hard to replicate that exact look of truly aged wood, but for the price point, I think that this is a great option. As you guys saw in the shop with me portion, those vintage antique reclaimed wood pieces can go for hundreds, sometimes even thousands of dollars, um, which is understandable. It is an antique piece, so I, I can understand that. But I think if you're someone who doesn't wanna spend hundreds of dollars on some wood, this is a great option. So this was 40% off of $17.99, which so was probably like nine or $10. Would it be $9 or would it be like $6? No. If Babe, what's 40% off of $17.99? No, wrong. Shouldn't it be like something 99? Okay, it's fine. So it was around $10, which I think is a really good deal. It definitely has that aged look. And I also like how it has two different tones of wood. I feel like it just kind of makes it feel more rustic, aged, and just natural that way. I think this mini stool is a great piece because it's so versatile. I honestly wasn't even going to get it at first, but my husband was like, why? Like that's so your style. It's cheap and you can literally put it like anywhere in your house. And I was like, yeah, you're right. So I got it. And this would be a great thing used for shelf styling. It would also be a great little plant stand to elevate a plant on just to make your plant look more intentional in a corner. It would also be a great candle stand to just put a candle and a little wick cutter on. I think would be a really cute little display as well. It would also look so great in a kitchen in a little corner. You could put some olive oil or a bowl or just something propped on top of it. What's great about this too is they had so many different sizes. They also had so many different shapes too. They just had so many different flavors and the quantity of each flavor was crazy. Like there was just so many different ones to choose from and they're all unique. They all kind of have their own little something something going on. I just love pieces that you can't replicate and not everybody has the exact same one. I just think it gives your space a little bit more character and makes it stand out a little bit more from the rest. So we got her. And the next two items I got go hand in hand. So of course I'll show you them together. They are these beautiful ceramic salt and pepper shakers. 
And I actually showed these in the shop with me portion of my last Hobby Lobby shop with me and haul video. And that was about a month ago maybe. And I just have not stopped thinking about these guys since. So I had to pick them up. One question though, I'm not quite sure which one's salt and which one's pepper. One has two things and one has three. Um, so if you know, have a girl out and let me know in comments, please, because I need to fill these up soon because I want to use these on my dining room table. And clearly, I've never had these before, so I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> Anyways, here's a little close-up of them. They are this charcoal gray color with a lighter grayish white speckled kind of ombre effect on the top. And I just think this looks so cute and crafty and handmade. I just love the way that these look. So I could put it in my kitchen, kind of right next to my stove, just to have easy access to salt and pepper. But I already have a pinch pot there for salt and pepper. So I'm planning on just leaving these on my dining room table. Another spot that you can put this is if you have floating shelves on your kitchen. I think these displayed like maybe one on top of a stack of books and then one a little bit lower. That would look really good. And here's a little spoiler alert for you. We are actually in the process of planning out our kitchen makeover. So I haven't mentioned that yet on my channel. So there you go. That video should be coming sometime semi soon when we have the budget to actually do all this stuff. And one of the things that we're going to be doing is tearing out part of the cabinets and adding floating shelves in. So super excited about that. I won't say any more because I kind of want it to be a surprise. But yeah, I just thought that this would be perfect for floating shelves in a kitchen. So that's kind of why I thought of that. I just think there's so many different options and ways to display these guys and they're functional and they look cute too, which is my favorite thing. We are all for pretty and practical decor around here. Really quickly, I just want to introduce you guys to today's sponsor, Tab Tech. TabTech sent me their Tab T6 Pro wet dry vacuum cleaner and I just have to share it with you guys because this thing is so cool. So it's a vacuum and a mop all in one and it's even cordless so you don't have to deal with plugging it in and tripping over the cords as you're cleaning. It's so easy to set up and get going. You just pour some water in a cap full of the solution it comes with and put it back on the vacuum turn it on and you're ready to go this guy is great for when I'm looking for a quick spill cleanup or for a nice deep clean on my floors my kids are always spilling stuff everywhere you guys know that if you're not new around here so I tested it out on multiple dried stains on my floors and it definitely did the trick and cleaned it up so great it comes with a charging station so when you're done using it you can just put it right back on the station to charge so it's ready to be used the next time and the best part about this t6 pro wet dry vac is that it's also self-cleaning so once you put it on the charging station you press the button at the top of the handle and it automatically starts self-cleaning the vacuum and the mop pad is just spotless in minutes I, I don't even know how it gets it so clean once it's done cleaning all that you have to do is pour the dirty water out and give it a quick rinse and it's good to go for the next clean overall I love this tab t6 vacuum mop and it's made it so much easier to keep our floors clean with this guy and you guys know I'm all about making it easier on ourselves to maintain a clean space I'll leave a link in the description so you can check it out and let's get back into the rest of the video and the last item that I picked up from our little Hobbs trip is this gorgeous, it's upside down, this gorgeous book. It's not a book. It's a, it's a fake book. It's actually a storage box, which, oh, upside down again. It's actually a storage box, which is really cool. And I think it's very versatile. It's also one of those pretty and practical decor items. You can use this to store remotes, games, cards, candles, literally whatever. Um, this would be a great coffee table book. So if you have an ottoman or a coffee table, you could use it as a book or you could use it as more of a base for your decor styling. So I think there's so many different uses for this. I love this pattern, you guys. It is so beautiful. It looks vintage and distressed and elegant. 
all at the same time. And I think the binding of this is just gonna really age my decor a little bit and it's gonna add a lot more charm to my shelves when I'm styling this. Binding of this is so pretty, of course, but also so is the paper side. It just looks like the pages are worn out and have been sitting out for a while and I just love that look. I've mentioned this before on my channel, but we live in a new build house and it can feel very new sometimes, which of course is not a bad thing. I am so grateful to be living in this home, but sometimes I feel like it can just lack that charm and character that you really see in older structures and older homes. So mixing old decor with new decor is a great way to make your space feel more natural and balanced. So that is why I picked up this guy. He was half off at $24.99. So $12. And I think that's a great deal, especially because I can use this in multiple places in my home and it can have multiple different uses as well. I feel like pretty and practical decor is the only kind of decor that I've been getting recently because you can make your space look nice and pretty, but it can still be practical and functional at the same time. So I think I've also just gotten better about being more intentional about what I bring into my home. And it's so much easier to give something a home when you're gonna be using it every day. So that's just kind of how my mindset has been recently and I just wanted to share it with you. If you are still watching, thank you so much. You are truly the best. I really appreciate all of you guys and all of your support, especially those of you who continue to leave the sweetest comments. I cannot thank you guys enough. I really feel like I'm building a relationship with you all and it's kind of like a little family and I'm just so blessed and so grateful for all of you. So with that being said, if you're new here, we would love to have you join our family. If you want to stick around and subscribe, I would also love to connect with you guys over on Instagram. I post a lot more everyday content over there and I'm always posting new designer dupes that I see as they come out. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and got some inspiration from it and we will see you in a few days in a new one. Bye.